Hey guys, welcome to my RV8SA build channel. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that what I've been doing is just a time-lapse video of me building the aircraft. However, moving forward, what I really want to do is start getting a little bit more involved in uh, making the videos more interactive. So those of you that are interested in building or, or just curious in the process in general can follow along a little bit better uh, with what I'm actually doing rather than just the little descriptions at the bottom of the video. What I plan on doing is kind of giving you a little bit of a description uh, each step along the way of what I'm about to do and then I'm going to time lapse the video of me actually doing it just so that the videos aren't insanely long and you can follow along a little bit better uh, and have an idea of what I'm doing in the background with that time lapse video. Similar to the videos that Jason Ellis puts together if you've seen his RV10 uh, build channel. If you haven't I suggest you uh, check it out. He's got a lot of really good uh, videos as well. He's been working on it for quite a while now, a couple of years, and he's much further along in the build than I am. I'm going to be starting with the rudder here on this video and moving along uh, see how far I can get on this video. So to start out, I'm going to give you kind of an idea of just the organization that I have set up here. Uh, basically, I created on these shelves, I just broke everything down by the different sub-assemblies. So this is my rudder shelf here. I've already completed the horizontal stabilizer and the uh, vertical stabilizer. But you can see that I laid out all the parts. I've just got them labeled along the bottom there. So that way it keeps it nice and organized, easy to find parts down the road as we need. This first step, we're going to be using these uh, uh, rudder 815, B, B, and E, as well as the C, G, A, F, and H parts, which I've all got back here and uh, I'll take you to the bench and show you that. Alright, so here we've got several sections of the uh, stiffeners that we're going to be cutting. So they have it long stretches here. Uh, they've already denoted kind of this little notch that you can see cut out. Uh, that's where we're going to be cutting to separate the different pieces. I've already labeled the, the links. As you can see, we got H, you got F, you got H, and then the last F piece. The other thing you'll notice, you've got these little notches right here and what those are for is uh, that's how you're going to cut the angle uh, and kind of draw a line from that notch to notch once you cut that length that'll give you the clearance that you're going to need as the rudder skin is is pulled together or bent closer together now what i'm going to do i'm going to get the time lapse video started i'm going to pull all the bluing off of these take them over to the bandsaw i'm just going to cut them down to their lengths uh, make sure that they're relabeled once i pull that bluing off so i can keep track of which ones are which then I'm going to draw the uh, lines across uh, to cut the angles to give the clearance for the rudder. Get those cut, take it over to the grinder, use the Scotch-Brite pad, and I'm just going to go ahead and clean all that up, make it nice and smooth, clean all the burrs off the edges, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so earlier I said I was going to use the bandsaw. You might have noticed I ended up using the hand snips to shear these off. The bandsaw was just trying to take too big of a bite. I didn't want to end up damaging these stiffeners. So you can see here what we did is we basically just cut off that angle from those two pieces that I was showing you earlier where they had that little notch there, notch there. We just drew a line, cut light right along it. And that just gives you a clearance that you need. There's also one on the back side here. In the interest of full disclosure, I really like that, that Jason kind of admits when he screws stuff up too. And something similar here, basically. When I started out, I had my left and my right backwards. So make sure you practice on some scrap uh, piece of metal before you get too started along here. You can see this one looks pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, kind of bent the end here a little bit, you can see. I'm hoping I can end up cleaning this up with the Scotch-Brite wheel, but we'll kind of see how that goes. 
Also, the first smaller stiffener I did here. These are both off the same angle iron piece, so worst case scenario, if I have to order one new one, that's not too bad. So just make sure you practice those uh, snips. If you haven't used them in a while, make sure you know which one's which before you start cutting away at material, or you might end up ordering extra parts like I did. Once I get up on the scotch Bright pad, I'll let you know how that ended up, if I was able to salvage those or if I'm gonna be ordering some new parts. But for now, certainly with all the rest of the stiffeners, we got plenty to work with to continue on with the project. All right guys, so here's that stiffener that I kind of butchered up using the, the right hand cutters instead of the left. Uh, had those real jagged edges. You can see it actually cleaned up pretty nicely there with the bench grinder using the Scotch-Brite wheel. Um, show you, there's a different stiffener. Uh, but this one you can see a lot better. You can see that blue line is that line that we drew from those two notches to give us a good angle. We use the shears to cut as close to that line as possible and then use that bench grinder just to clean that edge up right to the line uh, and then deburred all the edges, keep it nice and clean. So now we've got all of the stiffeners cleaned up, deburred. The next step is going to be to get them attached to the rudder. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video there today just to keep the video from getting too long. Uh, so in this video, we got the stiffeners cut to length. We cut the flanges off trimmed all the edges, made them nice and smooth, got rid of any burrs along the edges. In the next video, we're going to get those stiffeners plinkoed to the rudder and then match drill, pull them off, uh, deburr, dimple, uh, and then the stiffeners will be completely ready to be primed and riveted onto the rudder skin. Today, uh, this video, as you can see, is obviously a different format than what I had done in the past. So certainly if you like the new format, let me know. Uh, click that like button. Uh, also, add in the comments below what you liked about it. If there's anything different you want me to, to talk about or, you know, too much talking, too little talking, something like that. Just give me an idea of what you uh, like about the video and I'll continue to make improvements along the way. Also, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that in the future, You'll see when the newest videos come out. That being said, uh, I have been historically slow at getting videos out. I'm going to try and up that uh, ante quite a bit. Try and get a video out once a week. Just keep you guys updated on the pro uh, progress as well as to get my progress moving along a lot faster than it has been. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.